at the bottom of the Fox River. You'd expect to find fish, maybe some plants. Last week, though, Clayton Matuli found something a lot different. I guess the best reaction is like, oh, geez, but it's, it's kind of, at, at first, it's kind of a little bit scary. He and his wife, Jennifer Field, pulled up this, called the police, prompting a call to the bomb squad to investigate. Finding an artillery shell or a mortar in the, fo or the Fox River, you know, I, there's many guesses, you know, people that come back from the war back then could have just been like, I don't want this anymore, I'm going to throw in the river. But yeah, I don't, we don't know. It's not the first time. They say they have found explosives. It was crazy feeling. Uh, definitely didn't know what to do, a little frantic. Um, now it's more, oh, oh, another one. Matuli, Field, and their friends are magnet fishers. Using a magnet so strong, it takes two men in a crowbar to pry it off when it's latched onto something. They have found everything from safes to pocket watches to anchors. They've also made friends along the way. Friends who travel from different states to magnet fish together. And we'll come out here and we'll sit here for 12 hours plus just chatting and magnet fishing. And by the time we get home, right we're all sore. Point. But guess what? The next day we're out there at 6 a.m. ready to go out again. Uh, I've always wanted to be a treasure hunter ever since I was a little kid. And when I saw this on the internet, I thought I would try it out myself. Sometimes it catches small and relatively routine. Other times a lot more exciting. It's 2022, so you know these guys all have their own YouTube channel. We're going to let Clayton do a little bit of his outro for his videos. Take it away, Clayton. We will see you guys on the next one. In Oshkosh, Paul Stino, Local 5 News. <laughs>